tuned in to Faithful Asia. Where we do it all. From makeup to hair in a bitty you in fashion. How could you go wrong with that? Welcome to the show. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Faithfully Asia. Some of you guys call me Faithfully, but most of you guys call me Asia because, well, that's my name. Anyway, y'all, I'm back with another video. Hopefully, we can get through this quick because it's very late right now. Yeah, it's about 2.30 in the morning, so let's make this quick. So, let me go ahead and take my scarf off. Actually, guys, I'm really getting tired of doing my makeup to film just to go to sleep. Like, I gotta stop treating y'all like we just started dating. I'm gonna stop catfishing y'all, and I'm gonna start showing up with no makeup, okay? We've been dating for a while, so... It's time that y'all get to know the real me. All right. In today's video, I'll be reviewing a new top knock wig from Royal Me. Um, I think they said they've noticed that a lot of people have been having issues create recreating a top knot on their wig. So they decided to create a wig that has a top knot. Okay. And I'm here to promote it. So... <laughs> I did go ahead and do a ball cap. I haven't really been doing a ball cap lately, but since this is a top knot and the hair is gonna be pushed to the back, I figured I might as well do a ball cap. So let's go ahead and see what this wig looks like. So this is the inside of the wig. Let me go ahead and show you the construction. As you can see, these knots are bleached. You're gonna get about five and a half inches of parting space. It is still your standard wig construction with two combs on the side, one in the back, and the adjustable elastic band. So dolls, this is what the wig looks like straight out the packaging. As you can see, it does come bleached and pre-plucked. This is in 20 inches, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off this unit. Okay y'all, so initially I was gonna glue this wig down just because it's a top knot and I'm wearing the hair back and I wanna make sure that it stays secure. However, I really don't wanna sleep in this wig. Do you, you guys sleep in your wigs? I hate sleeping in my wigs. That's why I don't do too many glue installs. But if you do want to see me do more glue installs, just comment down below and let me know. And I'll be sure to get y'all some more glued installs. But I don't feel like sleeping in this wig. So I'm going to just use the Got To Be Glue spray. And I'm going to use some of the gel along the sides because those are usually the parts that are the most stubborn. So let me go ahead and put this wig on. So I want to make sure that I bring this wig to the front a little bit because, you know, your sis got a little five head. But it's okay because I was told that most pretty girls have big foreheads. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. If you ain't got a big forehead, mind, mind your business. Mind your business, that's all. Mind your business. We're not talking to you. Shout out to all my big forehead sisters out there. That's one of the beauties of a wig. You can make your forehead as big or as small as you would like. <sighs> Look at this. Just me trying to get this on. This top knot is almost coming out. This is a, a flop. Like, bro, like. Two thousand years later. So as you can see, this top knot is is loose on this side. It's just not looking good. I could turn it into like a bun Aww. or maybe not um okay so I just decided to do this top knot over I 
I still think this ponytail is like very finished. So I'm just gonna take this out and let's look to see what this wig looks like. Cause quite honestly, I can't see you buying a wig just for its top knot anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and put a side part in this. I'm gonna use my wax stick just to help lay this down. So, this, in my opinion, looks better already. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling that top knot. If you like it, by all means, have at it. But this is the wig you're gonna be left with whenever that top knot actually gives in. So, as you can see, the hairline looks very good. The part in space, is deep and it looks good as well well it's more deep in the middle than it is on the sides um, but in any event it's pretty good part in space and if I known I was only going to just end up wearing this out I wouldn't have even bothered gluing it down because this is a glueless wig and you can wear it glueless I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple of curls in this just to do something to it. So dolls, I like this so much better than that top knot. Um, if the top knot's your thing, this wig is available in a middle part or a top knot. It's the same price. You don't pay any extra for the top knot. So if you want to take a chance with it, you can always just get it, wear it for about a week, and then take it out. Um, but overall, I will say that I do like this wig. I think that the plucking in the front was really good. You guys saw I didn't do anything to this. I didn't customize this unit at all. Um, also, I didn't get any shedding surprisingly I haven't when I was curling this and I was combing it I didn't get any shedding or tangles so that's good as well um, overall I've used royal wigs before every wig that they sent me so far has been pretty good quality this wig also comes with the fake scalp option for no additional charge so if you're interested in getting this in a fake scalp you can as well but all in all, I will say this is this wig, I feel like it's a pretty quality wig. It's priced pretty reasonably. This is a 20 inch. And considering what you're gonna get, the amount of part and space and customization that already comes with it, I think it's a pretty good buy. So if you're interested in purchasing this unit, I'll have all the information in the description box down below. And dolls, I do have a giveaway that I am starting. I know I have a lot of creative faithfuls following me. I am having a giveaway i will be giving away one of my favorite wigs i'm starting my new hairline and i need help with naming the hairline so anybody's free to enter just leave name suggestions in the comment section down below if you leave a really good name that i end up using you'll be the winner of the wig so you can submit suggestions as many times as you want as many times something might come to you feel free to comment in the video 
and hopefully you guys can help me name my new hairline um because i want to get that to you as soon as possible and that's really been the hold up i haven't been able to come up with anything creative all the information on this contest will be listed in the description box down below and i did pick a name for the unit i reviewed last week the new name as well as the person who submitted that name will be listed right here and as you know before we get out of here i'm gonna need y'all help naming this unit we can name it after the top knot, we can name it after the curls, or just it's natural fabulous. It's up to you guys. Go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comments section down below. And if you're not part of the Faithful Fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your way out. And dolls is always important. Until next time, you guys stay blessed, and I'll catch you in my next video.